Backup battery technology has significantly changed in the last 10 years. The use of lithium ion batteries has been a game changer for extended run times and useful life of the batteries. But did you know that these powerful batteries can be dangerous if the correct safety features are not built into both the batteries and the battery cabinet? That's why today, we're going to be talking about lithium ion battery safety. Hello and welcome back to The Power Grid, a podcast to help you build reliability in your electrical system and gives you confidence in your power. I'm Brian Brannigan with Power Protection Products. We have been solving power quality problems for almost 30 years. We are your trusted advisor for critical cooling, power, and energy solutions. Lithium ion batteries can and do catch on fire, causing serious damage to people and equipment. But with the right built-in safety features, these batteries can prove to perform significantly better than the old valve-regulated lead-acid batteries. It's important to understand all these safety features. Once started, a lithium ion battery fire can be impossible to control and even harder to stop. It basically has to burn itself out over time. The key to controlling this problem is having built-in protection at the individual battery cell level, the battery module level, and even the battery rack level. Imagine sitting in your office environment, maybe in a cubicle, and you smell smoke, and you go into the wiring closet or maybe the data center, and you smell even more smoke. And you look over into the corner where the uninterruptible power supply system is, and you see the smoke coming from the battery cabinet of the uninterruptible power supply. You immediately press the fire alarm, pull out the fire extinguisher, you do everything you can to stop this process from happening, but none of it works. That's because lithium ion battery fires don't respond to fire extinguishers. They don't even respond to water. The only thing that you can do with a lithium ion battery fire is let it burn itself out or try to cool it down so that it doesn't spread to the other batteries. And that's why today on the power grid, we're going to be talking about the safety features of lithium ion batteries. In order to understand the safety features of lithium ion batteries, it's important to take a look at the history of battery technology development. We're going to start in the early days with a valve regulated lead acid battery, similar to what you might see in a car. These batteries were used in UPS systems for many, many years. They were all in a row and the way that they would fail is that they could short out certainly and cause the whole string to go down or they could swell up with the off gassing and eventually bulge out to the point where it doesn't work anymore these large battery systems were then converted into modular battery systems and these module battery systems had a variety of safety features put into them such as temperature sensors environmental sensors and smoke sensors. These cartridges could easily been slid in and out of a battery cabinet and required very little, if any, maintenance. After we developed modular batteries with some degree of safety features built into them, we progressed into the lithium ion batteries. And in the beginning, it took a little while for us to get the safety features related to the lithium ion batteries caught up to the actual performance of the batteries. The old battery modules had some safety features built into them, such as battery monitoring systems where they could track voltage levels and maybe even temperature levels and resistance on the batteries. But that was just very basic and very preliminary monitoring of battery systems. Today's lithium ion batteries have a variety of safety features built in, including monitoring systems. Modular battery development, improved runtime, reduced footprint, 
and gave you more information about your management system than the old valve regulated lead acid batteries that we used yesterday. Some of this technology was transferred into the lithium ion batteries. And that's what we're going to spend some time talking about today. But before we get into the actual safety features of a lithium ion battery, we want to talk a little bit about how a battery works. If you take a piece of paper in one hand and another piece of paper in the other hand, and you press the two together, you'd simulate what is actually happening in any sort of a battery configuration. Now the key to this is to have some sort of separator between the two papers. And that's the important part about keeping the lithium ion batteries safe. And it's that separation between the negative and the positive that give you a little bit better safety feature and performance in your lithium ion battery. But that's also a problem with the lithium ion batteries when they do fail when there's something that penetrates that safety layer in between the two sheets of paper, you're going to see some serious battery problems. One sheet of paper can represent the negative side of a battery, and the other piece of paper can represent the positive side of the battery. So you need this insulation in the middle in order to protect the two from touching each other and shorting out. The problem with lithium ion batteries is if you rolled those papers up into a cylinder, similar to a AAA battery or a AA battery made out of lithium ion, you'll see that once that separation deteriorates or for whatever reason causes a, a void in that safety feature of the separation, you're going to see immediate and instant fire from that one cylinder or that one AAA battery. And that's going to cause heat, smoke, and contortion in the cylinder that's going to transfer over to the next battery right next to it. And that's going to set off a chain of events for more heat, smoke, and contortion of batteries. And it's going to start going through all of the batteries in the module. And this is why it's so hard to stop a lithium ion battery. If the module starts catching on fire and the whole module is smoking and hot, it will transfer over to the next module and to the next module. You can eventually have a whole rack of lithium ion batteries that would be on fire, smoking, off gassing, uh, and working its way to the next battery cabinet next door to it. So safety features had to be built into this lithium ion technology. And that's what we want to talk about today is some of these safety features. So that when one lithium ion battery or one lithium ion cell fails in this separation mechanism, it won't propagate over to the next module or the next battery cell or the next battery cabinet. One safety organization that we rely on the most is called the Underwriters Lab. And Underwriters Lab actually has a listing, a UL1778 listing for UPS product safety standards as it relates to lithium ion batteries. Underwriters Lab also came out with UL1973, which is specific to lithium ion battery systems for UPS applications. And then to further improve the safety of lithium ion, Underwriters Lab came out with UL9450A. Then this is a test method for evaluating fire propagation in the battery energy storage system and not a UL listing by itself. The approach that Underwriter Lab takes to this testing is first they test the actual cells then they test the actual modules, then they get to the actual cabinet testing and making sure that this is safe all along the way. The first part of lithium ion battery cabinet safety has to deal with the components that go into the battery cabinet itself. In the old days, a battery cabinet was just a metal box that housed batteries and maybe a breaker. 
but today's lithium-ion battery cabinets, they are a complete system designed specifically for lithium-ion batteries. At the top of the cabinet, there's typically some sort of switch gear and rack battery management system that controls everything that's happening inside that battery cabinet. There's a web interface and a battery monitoring system that can actually trip the main breaker and disconnect the entire battery cabinet from the UPS system if needed. There are several layers of protection built into the cabinet itself. First of all, it has a secure door on the front of the cabinet, so not just anybody can get in there. And then there's a second layer cover that makes everything that you look at safe. If you open up that second layer, you can actually get into the cabinet itself and you'll see things like a seismic kit anchor that's standard so that we can anchor these down. There's battery string internal fuses so that if any part of those batteries go bad, the fuse will blow. And then of course there's a switch gear box at the top of the cabinet that's protecting the main breaker and the battery monitoring system that's controlling the rest of the sensors. The first layer of protection of a lithium ion battery module is the actual hardened outer shell. This shell is specifically designed to isolate and contain any sort of a issue related to the actual cells inside the battery module. The next layer of protection is fusing. There's fuses running to each cell in the module. The actual lithium ion module itself has physical protection mechanisms and active protection mechanisms built into the cell to guarantee cell level safety. It starts with fusing on each actual cell itself. The internal fuse is there to prevent any sort of external short circuit or overcharge problem. This is non-arcing at a high potential. There's also an anode design that has a safety functional layer that's there to prevent any sort of electrical short between the two different layers. There's actually even a separator design that has multi-layers in it so that if there is some reason to separate these further, that this separator design will go through and keep these two sides apart for as long as possible. There's also overcharging protection built into the actual module itself. Each module has eight voltage sensors in it, one for each cell. Each module also has eight temperature sensors, one for each cell. And these are designed to not only take the actual cell offline or the battery offline, but even the entire cabinet offline if needed. There's also a communication card on each modular battery in a lithium ion cabinet. And these communication cards communicate up to the main battery monitoring system of the actual cabinet and of the actual UPS system. A battery management system for a lithium ion cabinet includes first of all a modular battery management system that's built into each module. Each yeah. rack has its own battery monitoring system and then of course the actual UPS system itself has a battery monitoring system. So there's three levels of battery monitoring systems all communicating with, with each other at the same time giving you all the information you need to know about what's happening not just with the modules in the cabinet but also the individual cells inside the lithium ion module. All of these components added together make the lithium ion battery much safer than the traditional batteries of yesterday. And as a result, we see 40% less footprint in a lithium ion battery cabinet compared to a conventional battery cabinet, 60 to 70% less weight inside the cabinet, and a two to three time higher expected life of these lithium ion modules, and a shelf life that's four times greater than a traditional battery system. 
These battery systems can operate at much higher temperatures, can operate almost 10 times the cycle of charge and discharge of a conventional battery, and they recharge five times faster than conventional batteries. And overall, in today's world, lithium-ion battery technology is not that much more expensive than conventional battery technology, and they last much longer so you don't have to replace them as often. So it's the safety features that are built into the UPS system, the actual lithium-ion battery cabinet, the actual module of the lithium-ion battery that's inside these cabinets, that make the lithium ion batteries a much safer alternative than they used to be. Lithium ion batteries are a game changer for backup power runtime and extended battery life. But it's important to understand not only the dangers, but also the safety features that have been developed over time to virtually eliminate any possible risk in using this technology. Thank you for joining us on the podcast today. For more information on lithium-ion battery safety, check out the link in the show notes.